Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another get ready with me, a full face of using Dollar Tree makeup. And this look is definitely a trust the process look. I did not love this look at first and then, then I did. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm using the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Primer and the LA Colors Brow Pencil, which I use to prime my eyes and to fill in my brows, and I use the Be Pure Brow Highlighter Pencil. And then next I'm taking the La Macari Eyeshadow Palette. This is like the mauve one, and I have high hopes for this. It's such a beautiful palette. It has some cool tone shades in there. Here are some swatches of that. It's swatched really pretty really pretty as you can see it looks promising so first I'm taking that in the second row for shade it's like this light mauvey purple shade and I'm going to be taking that in the crease on a fluffy crease brush and I'm going to be working that into the crease and I'm showing you where I'm, I have my hand placed on the brush for more control in the middle and I'm just going to build this up so I do a sweeping motion and somewhat of a pressing motion with the eyeshadow. And I will show you that there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan as well. There is a lot of fallout and a lot of powderiness in that pan. The, all the shades are like this too. So the next shade I'm taking is the black. I'm going to use the same fluffy blending brush and I'm going to press the black in the outer corner and I'm going to work this up and well I'm going to build this up and basically like salt and pepper with your food I always use this little by little not to mess up the look just add a little at a time and once I have my desired black built up, and I'm showing that you can see that there is fallout starting, I will take more of the purpley mob shade and go ahead and use that in the crease some more and use that to blend down the black that went up too far in the crease. So I have the outer corner, the crease practically done. Now we're gonna move on to the lid and I'm using this really pretty which looks like a shimmery silvery purple but it's an overspray and it actually reveals a very dark purple underneath so I was a bit shocked and disappointed but you will see that that dark purple does have some silver glitter in it and to get that to adhere better on the lid I'm spritzing my brush with some L'Oreal Lumi um, spray just anything get the brush wet and use the shadow wet so I'm using this on a flat shader also also holding the brush in the middle for more control I'm just going to build that up on the lid now once I have this I'm like oh my gosh I wasn't really wanting a smoky eye and all that fallout so I'm going to go back in with more of the light purple mauve shade and I'm going to blend that in the crease. And I will work on that. And I think that the colors are starting to get a slight muddy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that light shimmery purple in the middle of the palette and then I'm going to place that kind of on the center of my lid using my finger. And at first I don't even really like this. It's just not the look that I was going for, but we're going to roll with it. So I'm going to use a wipe that I got at the Dollar Tree, it's Cocoa Butter, to clean up the fallout. And then I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette, which is the very first shade in the palette, on a large shader brush, and I'm going to place this under the brow. And then I'm going to slowly blend that down into the crease shade. Not all the way, but just around the edges so they can blend seamlessly together. I will say the palette did a very good job at blending together. I just don't like how much fallout there was and the fact that that shade was a lie. <laughs> but now I am pretty happy with how the look came out. And then I'm using some Sassy and Chic sponges and this Be Pure Essentially Ages Ageless Serum 
concealer and the Be Pure Infused Pressed Powder. And I'm going to take the concealer, place it under the eye, and use a little on the cheek as well to discuss some of my redness. And I'm going to use a Wet Sassy and Chic Mini Blending Sponge to blend that out. This concealer is amazing, and when they say Simply Ageless, it does not settle in fine lines or any of that. It is amazing. It is such a good formula and a great concealer. And I'm going to use another Sassy and Chic little powder sponge that's for your finger to use some of the Be Pure Powder to set that. And on the lower lash line, I'm taking the mauve shade that I used in the crease to do the lower lash line. Really pretty. And I'm taking Symbol Color Shade Boss Eyeshadow in Proud. I also found this at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using this in my inner corner to bring in some light because the eyes are really dark. Um, I absolutely love how they turned out after I get my look finished and the purple does make my eyes pop. And I'm using the LA Colors Matte Liquid Eyeliner that I picked up not too long ago. And surprisingly, I am in, I, I'm not shocked because I like LA Colors Liquid Aligners. So this is actually really black. It does dry down matte. It does not feel uncomfortable on the eyes because it dries down matte. Here it is dried down. And a nice good black swatch. This eyeliner is really black. And it does not budge when it is set down. And it does easily remove with a makeup wipe. And I'm using the LA Colors Gel Eyeliner in Midnight. This was from the Dollar General, but you can find black eyeliners at the Dollar Tree. And this Ioni Fat Chubby Stick Pencil Eye Primer or Shimmer Stick um, in one. So I use that in my waterline. And the AOA Studio Super Lash Adhesive. And these Ioni Lashes in Carmen. And they have beautiful rhinestones on them. These lashes are so beautiful, spiky, and flashy with those rhinestones. They are so pretty. And see, here's where I start really liking how the look came out. Just came together. I'm taking a little Macari Volume Double X Volumizing Mascara, and this mascara is one of the driest formulas I've ever used. But I love the end result to this mascara; it builds really nicely. One of my favorite go-to bronzers from Dollar Tree is just an LA Colors Pressed Powder in Tan. So I'm going to use that to bronze with, and all my bronzing areas. I love this powder. It's perfect for fair tones, which I absolutely am, <laughs> to use to contour and bronze with. The LA Colors Blush in Gazing. Such a beautiful corally blush. It's absolutely stunning. There is a bit of kick up in the pan, and I go overboard with this blush, but I absolutely love it. And it blends out really nicely. So nicely. So, no worries that I did, like, I really, really worked it in there. <laughs> and I put it on the nose, too, and I'm going to blend it out, just like I always do. After I apply any kind of powder on my face, I blend that out. Now, here's the finished look fully. And for the lips, I use the Be Pure Lip Jelly in Rose. I absolutely love this lip jelly. I hope I can find it in other colors. It is so beautiful. Here's the finished look and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Found the video helpful and we'll try to look out for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check the description box as well as the cards for additional Dollar Tree makeup links. Thank you so much for watching.